Zuck versus Elon Fire. No, he's checking out. What? That's. Uh, I don't think he's checking out. Yeah, no, he's just checking out. Do you think so? Yeah. Puck, puck, puck. Well, maybe puck, he's puck, listening. Puck. Suck, 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 <laughs> suck, suck, suck. <laughs> I'll go to him into fighting using taunts. It might work. Yeah. It might. Somehow or another, you got puck, him to puck, agree suck, in the suck, first suck. place. <laughs> I was stunned. Surely he will respond to a taunt like that. Yeah, surely. <laughs> How can he resist? How can yeah, he resist? resist. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just go, let's go full school, schoolyard taunting. What if there was like real consequences on the line? What if you guys had a real bet? Okay. The moderation team from X takes over moderation of Facebook if you win. No problem. Sounds good. And if he wins, vice versa. There's a fight for civilization. Yeah. A literal fight for civilization. I'll do it. Wow. Heavy. He was posting all these fight videos, and then someone on Twitter at the time said, hey, you should fight Zuck. And I said, well, I'm willing to fight if he is. Um, <laughs> and then Zuck posted, I think on Instagram or something, name the place or something to that effect. And I was like, okay, how about the Vegas Octagon? <laughs> <laughs> and then Italy actually was willing to let us use the Coliseum. And I was like, let's can't turn that down. But then, and then I, if it's going to be in the Coliseum, we're not like I like UFC and everything, but we we don't have like tons of ads and and UFC branding on the Coliseum because it's a historical place. It's a history. It's a place right. of great history. You you, you don't want to right. just have it be all like NASCAR. So then Zuck Zuck pulled out. Use the pull out method. Um, so he pulled out of it. <laughs> he pulled out of it? Yeah. Oh, what was the narrative? What'd you hear, Jamie? I don't remember. I, I, I'm willing to. I, I, so he was like, oh, no, it's got to be UFC rules. I'm like, okay, we're going to have UFC rules in the Coliseum. It's fine. But it, you've got to respect the historical integrity of the place. The Coliseum just seems like the coolest place to do it. Yeah. That's why. You're like of Gladiator. Oh, yeah. Come on. And if they said uh, it's okay. Yeah. So he just wants it to be in the actual UFC in Vegas? Yeah, so, so then he said, oh, he, he accused me of not, not, not being serious. And I said, look, listen, uh, listen, at the end of the day, if I'll fight you any place, anywhere, under any rules. Who? Zuck. Uh, that's what I said. So he, he said, name the place. I'm like, I'm, if, I'm happy to fight him in a house, on a mouse, with a louse. <laughs> We're going to go full Dr. Seuss here. Now, um, how much time? How I'm, much I'm time a way bigger than you, him. This is unfair. I know you. I don't think you should fight me um, because, because you're would, so much bigger than him. Yeah, I'm like 50 percent bigger than him. Yeah. I'll just use a wall. I've got my patented walrus move. I just lie on him. <laughs> <laughs> like it, walrus doesn't need martial arts training, right? Because <laughs> it's really big. Right. You don't want to go wrestling a walrus. If a horse falls on you, you can get trapped under a horse. Right, but you're not a horse. Listen, I, it, it, there's, there's just a reason they have weight categories. Yeah. There, there's a friend of mine who is pretty good at fighting, but she weighs about half of what I do. And and I said, let me show you why there's weight categories in, in fighting. Mm. And I'm going to do a move called the walrus, and you have to just, I'm just going to lie on you. I'm not going to put you in a lock or anything. I'm just going to lie on you. But I'm going to position myself such that it's hard to get off, get out from under me. Mm -hmm. And I just... I'm going to lie crossways on you, and you try to get away, and you won't be able to get away, because you couldn't. Just, if a horse falls on you, you can get trapped under a horse. Right, but you're not a horse. What do you weigh, about 230? <laughs> yeah, two, 240, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not a horse, but I'm saying in the limit, if something's heavy enough, you, if, 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 if a horse falls on you and dies, you can get trapped under a horse and not be able to get yourself out. But if someone's good enough, I'm sure you've seen absolute weight classes in jiu-jitsu, where you'll get a 145-pound competitor who strangles a 220-pound competitor, and they're both well-trained. Is oh, that that's good. unlikely. It's not unlikely. It happens quite often. Okay. When you get elite competitors, when you get elite competitors, like elite yeah. black belts at the 145, 155-pound weight limit, you'd be shocked. You'll be shocked, too. If you calculated the yearly cost of your PPV and cable bill, it would be $1,450 at least. So what's the solution, you might ask? It's iWatchMax streaming platform. You will have access to everything you might wish for. UFC PPVs boxing PPVs, latest movies, latest TV shows, football, a.k.a. soccer, at no extra cost. So what are you waiting for? Scan this QR code or go to iWatchMax.com to check if you qualify. There's a ton of videos okay. of these guys who will strangle much larger black belts. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just not highly unlikely. And if, if, it, if, if this were not the case, there would not be strict weight categories in martial arts. That is true, but Very the, the reason why they allow absolutes in jiu-jitsu is because it is the thrill of watching these smaller people go against much larger people, yeah. and sometimes they win. 
No, I, I just like armies, when people take note when a small army defeats a big army because it is so unusual. Yes. Not because it's normal. Right. It's like, it was two against 10,000, and boy, it would beat those two guys up. <laughs> yeah. more, more, more likely what happens. <clears throat> if, you're, if you're severely outnumbered, uh, you will lose, uh, almost certainly. So look at the size difference between these two guys. Play it out. This uh, is uh, Mikey Musumeci, yeah. who is another fascinating individual. This guy is another super genius who trains every day, 12 hours a day, and uh, he is competing against a black belt in the heavyweight division. Mikey Musumeci might weigh 145 pounds. And he beats this guy. Guy doesn't look to be in super great shape. He's enormous. Yeah. He's enormous and he's a black belt, so he's skilled. I forget how Mikey wins this. He yeah, catches sort of him some. So he won by points? Yeah, that's why I won. Oh, okay, sure so he won by points. Here. I think you're making the point for <clears throat> me here. Yeah. <laughs> in that case, but yeah. that guy's strangled a lot of much larger people than him. But again, he's yeah. extraordinary. He's a world champion. He's a world champion for one, which is this huge uh, organization in Singapore. They do these events where they have all kinds of different martial arts. They have MMA, Thai boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So you do it under any rules? Sure. All right, let's go. I like the fact that you're interested in doing this. It's fun. Uh, it makes it fun. Yeah. I could, I, this could be an exercise in hubris. Um. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Yeah. We can find. I like the fact that Zuck's interested in it too. I like the fact that he uh, he trains so much, right? Because he's gonna roll on you. Have you ever been ever rolled with someone who's much smaller than you that does jujitsu? Yes. You Lex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I I did yeah. train as a martial arts. How much have you trained personally? I did for a decade of it. We did a lot of uh, karate, right? I did uh, judo. Judo, kayak, shinkai, karate. Yeah. I did some jujitsu, taekwondo, street fighting which I was involuntary, I think I'd be decent. The, the things that, if, if I was fighting someone who I was not, where I was not much bigger than them, then I would be more concerned. <laughs> um, How but, much time uh, would you need to prepare? I don't need any time. No time at all? No. How's your cardio? No, it's not, it, that will not be a factor. Really? Yeah. Very <laughs> What's the likelihood of this actually happening? I'm willing to do it anytime, anywhere, any place, any role. I think stating it this way might yeah. accelerate this process, Great. especially on this platform. I mean, I challenge him to a duel under any circumstances. A sword fight? Sure. Jesus. That's not necessary. Pistols at dawn. That's not necessary. It's just fun. And I'm glad you're, you're yeah. just for the fun of it.